Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever noticed that cults are far more intentional about recruiting than Christians are? I mean, think about it. Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, even Moonies, they desperately proselytize people. And, and to what end? Only destruction. Just like the religious leaders in Jesus' day. Uh, Matthew 23 is a chapter where it is simply uh, condemning the actions of the scribes and the Pharisees, the religious leaders of Jesus' day. And in verse 15, he says, "'Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, "'for you travel across sea and land "'to make a single proselyte, "'and when he becomes a proselyte, "'you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves.'" Now, those are pretty strong condemning words. So what is Jesus saying? Well, the scribes and the Pharisees kept the law as best they could, but it was their corrupted version of the law. It was not God's law. They added to it. They added rules. They added all these things that they considered to be more important than the actual word of God. So they would make converts, and then they would turn them into joyless, legalistic, arrogant jerks just like themselves, and they did it in the name of God. So here's Jesus, God in the flesh, in their midst, and he is outraged at this folly in his name. Not to mention that he's God in the flesh and he's in their midst and they don't even recognize him. Students of scripture, lovers of God, self-proclaimed, they don't even recognize God in the flesh. Instead, they, they don't recognize him, they don't listen to him. In fact, they end up wanting to kill him. So what do we learn from this? Well, don't get so focused on keeping religious rules that you forget to see Jesus, to listen to Jesus, to learn from Jesus, to follow Jesus, and most importantly, to love like Jesus. Because if you do that, you'll be blessed and Jesus won't be saying outrageous things about you. Hope that helps and I hope you have a great day.